I just finished the Adam and Eve piece and the fall, and that was a real challenge. This is what I'll use for the fall to show that we have a savior to help us through all of our challenges. But the scripture says that Christ would crush the head of the serpent. So that was my attempt at a serpent being crushed. That's a root I found on a hike the other day. And I just thought I'd mention that this tree on this side is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And I used this stick that's been carved by worms, <laughs> but it just looked like hieroglyphs or knowledge or information. So I thought that was kind of an interesting way to depict the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And then of course, this is the tree of life. And I loved this stick because it's just so old and gnarled. And I like to imagine that the that truth and life and light is old, very old and full of wisdom. So that was kind of fun to do that. I just wanted to share that. I'm still struggling with which head fits the Christus better. And I like this one because it's like has a halo on it. Look at this rock. It's so interesting. But it also has this dark spot, which could be his face. I don't know. But I don't like that dark spot so much. So I'm still deciding. Is that? I think that's a better proportion. And then I also had him holding fruit from both the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil hopefully as a statement that knowledge of good and evil is not a bad thing just because eve had some serious consequences adam and eve with that which then brought a need for a savior still it's a great thing and our savior balances both life and knowledge in a perfect way so that was my intention with that and i just wanted to describe some of this and while i'm here and since i'm just finishing some of the art over here are my pieces that aren't. They're just, nothing is glued down yet. So there is, as you all know. Oh, let's fix this. Esther, there we go. Esther petitioning the king. And this was another snake possibility. <laughs> it's pretty great. But there we have Moses in the Red Sea. This was another attempt that I think we're, isn't going to make it. And these are all pretty rough because nothing's tacked down. But there's Abraham and Sarah, Enoch. That's going to be John the Baptist for when I do New Testament. Of course, Ruth and Naomi. Um, so just a few of them that are still out. And the rest are in baggies. <laughs> so when they're not out being used, I put them in baggies and I don't glue them down because I like to animate them. So you might have seen David and Goliath being animated. And this is a duck. I was working on Noah's Ark, but I just don't have time to finish it for the book. So I will have to go somewhere else. But those are all pieces for the book. Oh, I have to show these, these cute elephants. Okay, I'm working on an elephant. See if you can find them in all these rocks. Isn't that so fun? And this one I just found on a hike, and I thought, oh, that looks like an elephant, <laughs> just by itself, so cute. Um, he's darling, but since I'm having so much fun with elephants, I started playing around with other rocks. Look at that cute one. It's so hard to find kind of ear shapes that match. So I went through a lot of rocks trying to find those. And these are just attempts at people. It didn't get used for other things. And then I try to categorize my rocks. So if I need a certain size or shape, I have a rough place to go. These were all contenders for the trees of life and knowledge and good of evil. Just gorgeous, aren't they? Um, love these. But in the end, I decided to go with something a little more symbolic than beautiful. And while we're in here, I should give you a little tour. Uh, more attempts at what the trees should be in the snake. These are curly willows. There's one tree in the whole neighborhood that I've ever seen around here and they just trimmed it. I was so lucky. <laughs> Went and collected a bunch of their trimmings. 
That's something fantastic. These are all the long rocks. These are nice and big, wonderful foundations, especially. And these over here, all of those, that's the, when I did the work for the Gospel for Kids channel, each of these is an episode. And that was so fun. So I've kept them just in case they needed to re- work anything, but they never came back to really work anything, so I'm not sure what to do with these little guys. And of course, some of these pictures up here are what those baggies are. And what else do we have? That's the feet up there. Hmm, you can see the mess. How about that? So this tray is reserved for my most favorite rock. So when I find a rock that I just think is so unusual, where do you ever find a rock like that? Um, I put it in my special tray. And I have no idea what these things will be, but they're very unusual. This would be such a cool sword. But he was too small for David and Goliath when I did that giant piece. But just some really beautiful pieces. And I have no idea what they're for, but someday I'll need something. This little piece was my first attempt at David and Goliath. This was the slingshot, the pouch that would hold the rock and then held on by some tethers up here. But in the end, it looked like a purse. <laughs> so I didn't use it. I had to trade that out. But, oh, these are really neat. Look at this. These, they, they're just beautiful. They look like, I'd like to use them with Ruth and Naomi as kind of being bags or leather pouches for water. I'm not sure, but I've got match, a matching set here which is very unusual to have. So I haven't used it yet. And then here's a teeny tiny, maybe little pouch for carrying a canteen or something. So sweet. But it's interesting, strange shaped rocks that someday will have a purpose. But who knows right now? That's kind of fun. And I'll show you over here, put some of the art up on the wall from the Easter book and the Christmas book. And here I was working on tulips. It's Easter time right now when I'm making this video. And I wanted some flowers for the Garden of Eden. So I'm starting to make those. Some beautiful heart-shaped rocks. See, everything looks better when it has a little foundation to it. And then these are all just gorgeous head rocks and different rocks I was working with most recently. I'd love to use this rock. So weird. It kind of, it reminds me of a hood. And I'm thinking of Star Wars out in the desert. Those little guys with the beady eyes. They're always hooded. <laughs> I don't know. It's just so cool. Well, there you have it. It's my little studio. I'm so blessed to have this space to keep all the rocks and try out different things. Okay, well, thanks for joining me. <laughs>